Okay, you guys, all these different eggs. I'm not sure what colors to pick up. We have purple, pink, multicolored, polka dot, flowers, iridescent. These are really pretty. I really like these. I just don't know how they would feel like on the hand, like if they're gritty or not. We have speckled, we have footballs, uh, soccer balls, or no, these are basketballs, you guys. Soccer balls. These are actually really cute. I'm gonna get these. Mm. Always gotta have a few golden eggs. I'm gonna grab two of those. Ooh, I like these. These are like pearls. I had to get down and low you guys to show you these but these are pretty cool these are like stackable eggs for $8.98 and then there's also some metallic ones in the back I see a metallic silver a metallic pink and there's different speckled color ones those are really cool you have some single eggs these are just like little chicks but these are bigger ones so they're good for like bigger prizes and bigger candies and treats You have a fun pack with all kinds of different things. I feel like this isn't a really good um, value though. I feel like you can get more bang for your buck if you go to the Dollar Tree. You have a ton of stuffed animals. I am done with stuffed animals, you guys. My daughter has way too many. And now we're getting into more of the activities, hands-on activities. I love this section of Walmart, you guys. It's one of my favorite aisles. We have a canvas coloring bag with all different characters. We have, what are these, little tattoos, different characters as well. Spider-Man, Minion, Mario, Super Mario, all kinds of fun characters. SpongeBob, Batman. Then we have some little coloring activities as well. Lots of coloring and painting activities, you guys. I feel like these are really going to be great for toddlers. And then you have a ton of Peep merchandise as well. Like, that is what they're promoting this year. You have some airplanes. I love the novelty, like, uh, toys and stuff. And just remember, they are novelty toys, so they're not meant to last long. Get a good few plays, and that's getting your money's worth right there. Let's see what else they have. I don't even think this belongs here. We have the glitter balls. I actually think these are adorable. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one as well. Did I? And then I'm just comparing it, you guys. I could have sworn I grabbed one. I think it was identical. The one I grabbed was a bunny. And then more peep things. This is the same exact one, you guys. But this is a peep version. And I'm really regretting not doing a whole peep theme for my daughter's Easter basket. It makes me want to go back and make her a second Easter basket. Which is crazy, I know. But I just love the peeps. It's just like it calls me. We have little Play-Doh packs. I really love these as well. You have the little chick. You have a little blue chick. You have the bunnies. Bubbles. A ton of bubbles. Bubbles are always one of the um, things that is just iconic to put into an Easter basket, you guys. And look, this is Walmart's little hack. They put all of the cheaper stuff on top, so you go towards the $1.98 and the $2, $3 items first. I see you, Walmart. These are great, you guys, especially for teens and tweens sticker books classic i am actually not going to get my daughter one this year because she still has a ton of stickers from her birthday and then in general every time i go to the dollar tree i pick her up a pack of stickers 
I actually have a small budget put away, you guys. So right after Easter, Monday morning, you're going to see me at the store with all the older ladies. So I could stock up on all the 50% clearance items. And these are going to be great things to have just to have throughout the year for traveling, going out, going to the park, road trips, you guys. Hit up the clearance aisles after holidays. It is the best time to grab things. You can even save it for the following year, which is what I typically do as well. But so much peep things. You have a grow peep. That's actually pretty cool. I think I'm actually going to go back and grab that, you guys. You have peep slime. A little peep decor, different colors. And look at that, you guys. I actually seen, I forgot where at, but it was like a $50 peep floaty or something like that. But now to show you guys Hi what guys, I picked up from Walmart. Welcome back to my channel. So I have a small Walmart haul for you. It's really quick, you guys. I have some clothes up here and then I have some Easter stuff down here. Yes, I am filming in the inside of my closet. That's just where I have the most space at right now. So I picked up some different Easter eggs. I'm not sure. Usually what I do is last year I did a separate Easter party. We had all my nieces and nephews over. We had my husband's um, nieces over from his side, his sister's side, his parents, all three of our children. I don't know exactly how it's all going to happen this year. I don't know if we're going to have all three kids together. Um, and if we do, then I will do a big Easter. But if we don't, I'll just do an Easter with him, my youngest daughter, and myself. And I'll do a big, not a big, but, you know, a decent Easter dinner. I'll do the ham, the potato salad, the hot dogs, the deviled eggs, and stuff like that. And we'll celebrate Easter together as a family. He'll hide eggs for her in the front yard, and she'll go Easter egg hunting. And then we'll just end up doing Easter with either my mom or my dad's side of the family on Sunday. So usually I have a ton of eggs this year. I don't have as many. I picked up these cute little animals. I thought my daughter would love these, especially after Easter. She'll play with these in the dirt because she has like a sand bucket in the back. I picked up some blue eggs, some pink eggs, and purple eggs. And these are the larger Easter eggs. So they'll fit things like ring pops and pop rocks. I picked up this two pack of little Easter bunny headbands. I picked up some Play-Doh, so these two I'm going to actually put in her Easter basket. These two are going to go in that box back there. That box is just filled with all kinds of goodies and toys, and throughout the months, I will disperse them to her as I see fit, or if we're going traveling, she's going camping or something in that nature, I'll go ahead and pack a few little toys so she has in the room. I picked up these little cute Easter popper balls. I thought it'd be so fun, and my daughter is going to love this. One's going to go in her, in her Easter basket, and then one is going to go, and that is, you guys, I guess, like, hair flew in here. Um, one is going to go into that bucket back there um, just for later on in the month. Okay, so the rest of the things are clothing, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. So, bring this down here. First thing I picked up were another set of rings, you guys. I love Novo rings. I love their jewelry line. It's so affordable. So these are just like rings. Now, I have chubby fingers. One thing I really want to find are rings that fit all the way down to the um, bottom of my thumbs. But these are just little like mid finger rings. And whatever I don't want, I'd probably end up give, giving to my niece. But, like, they are so beautiful. They make beautiful accent rings. So, I bought that. And don't mind the noise behind me. There's actually a movie going on. My husband's watching a movie behind me. So, I picked up those. I picked up two shirts. Um, I picked them up, you guys, in a 3X, which was my bad. I meant to pick it up in a 2X. So, I have recently lost weight. I will post a picture above. Now, I am just still, I'm still the same size. I'm still about a 2X. 1X fits me a little too tight, but 2X fits me a little too loose. And I ended up picking up 3X, so I'm really hoping these are going to shrink in the dryer. I honestly thought I picked up 2X. So these are just a basic t-shirt that I can wear because I have a lot of nice going out shirts, but I have nothing just basic to wear with some leggings. So I picked up a gray one and you know, if you like it in one color, just go ahead and get it in the second color. So I picked it up in this green. Once again, I'm hoping it's going to shrink in the dryer and these were $5.98 a piece. 
I picked up another set of leggings. I have like five pairs of black leggings, so I picked up this gray set. And I picked up the extra large. When it comes to leggings, I always go a size to two sizes down from what my pants are. And then I just picked up a white spaghetti strap undershirt. I really should have picked up at least two more of these. Okay, so here are my daughter's clothes, you guys. I really need to stop buying her clothes because she has so many. And usually I have to weed out all of her clothes every other month. So she's also in that stage where 4T is getting a little too small, but 5T is way too big. Um, so I'm still getting her 5T. I got her one 4T. I actually don't like to do the clothes shopping, though. I make my husband do that because I do not know how to coordinate outfits. Um, but I was there, so I just picked out things that look cute to me. Um, so I picked out this butterfly shirt. Once again, it is really big, and that's what I mean. Like, it's hard to find shirts that fit her. She's three years old, and she's longer than most, and kind of taller than most, in my opinion. Um, I picked up this purple one with the little bow at the bottom. I thought that was really cute. And she has plenty of long sleeves still. And then I love this little flower pattern, you guys. And then I just picked her up a solid pair of 4T leggings. She has different, a lot of pink leggings. I need to get her colors that will go with any type of shirt. So I'm just hoping these match. And that's everything I picked up, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys her Easter basket. Okay, so here's what's going to actually go into my toddler's Easter basket, you guys. So to some people, this may not look like much. To other people, you're probably like, that's way too much. But I'm learning as being a mom, less is more. The less there is, the more she plays. The more there is, the less she plays. She just rips through everything. So let's start here with the candy. I got some fluffy stuff, cotton tail, cotton candy. I thought this would be a fun treat to take to our first Easter party on Sunday. She could share it with her cousins. And the way it looks is like there's different balls of cotton candy. So they could each get a little ball of cotton candy. And then there should still be enough for some of the adults if they want to have some. I picked her up some of these bubblegum eggs. These are a classic. My mom used to put these in our Easter basket every year growing up. And my daughter loves bubblegum. And then I just got her a Pez dispenser. Um, I get her one of these for every single holiday. And this is in the flavor vanilla cupcake. And then for the last little bit of candy, I just have these two little foil carrots. I thought they were really cute the way they were wrapped up in foil. And that's going to go in one Easter egg. Now, once again, you guys, she's also going to go Easter egg hunting with me and her dad. She's going to have two Easter egg hunts on Sunday as well. So that's why I'm trying not to incorporate too much candy into this Easter basket. I did get her a happy Easter. Okay, so I got her this little canvas paintbrush and paint set. She is going to love this, you guys. She's been really into painting lately. And this comes with six different colors and she's going to have so much fun. So that's going to be an activity that she could do Saturday. And she loves little things like Play-Doh. So I bought the four pack, but I'm only giving her one. Once again, I give her if I give her the whole pack, she'll go through it all, leave it all open, leave it all to dry. And then she's left with nothing. So I give her one at a time and then she'll play with it for about two days and then she'll end up getting a new one. But I picked up this specifically because I picked up one of these, you guys. And these are little Play-Doh packs with a little cutter. However, this does not have enough Play-Doh for her to play with. So um, she'll be able to still use the little Play-Doh cutter in the peep. And she'll be able to use it with this Play-Doh pack, which is why I put the Play-Doh in there as a filler item. She also has a little bubble mini tumbler. And then she just has some little bunny ears, a little peeps chapstick. And she loves chapstick and lip gloss right now, you guys. And in this egg, I just have a little slime. So my idea is she could take the slime out, put it in the Easter egg, and she could just play with it that way. And then the last, last thing is this little popper. We tried the one that has like the Nerf bullets and it was so much fun. So I'm figuring she's going to love this. So that is everything that I'm going to put in her Easter basket. I'll go ahead and show you guys everything when it's assembled. And here is her Easter basket, you guys. I hope you guys got some ideas and enjoyed this Easter basket haul.